How y'all feeling out there? Everybody all right? This is Keisha here from Let's Talk. As you come on in, hit subscribe and share this message out. If you're watching from another platform, come on over to YouTube and subscribe and share this message out. I have a um, a trend that I've been on here lately. I've been posting about it and everything, in fact. And um, what it is, is when you get to the place of not giving a hoot, you get to a different place and to me it's like I could see how that place is freeing and dangerous at the same time and it's freeing in the sense that you don't care what other people think you don't care how other people feel for the most part um you don't really concern yourself with issues and things you know what I'm saying that other people are going through you let them be them and it's freeing it is so freeing to get to that place where it's kind of like oh that's where you at okay oh that's how you feeling okay oh that's how you living okay and it's a freeing thing but at the same time it's dangerous and it's dangerous because you know people that don't give a hoot that they can become cold and callous people, right? They could become uncompassionate um, people and pretty much um, cynical and just... That type of people. And I am kind of trying to walk that fine line. Because I absolutely um, do not want to be on the side of the cold hearted person. But some days I wake up and I feel like a straight you know what. And I feel like anybody could get it. And then some days I wake up and I don't feel that way. But there's some days that I wake up and I'm telling you, and it makes me think about how, you know, so how many people have, you know, taken advantage over the years, how many people I let get away with all kind of crazy, um, how many people, you know, they felt like they was playing me, but I, I don't really call it playing me because it's kind of like I knew what was up and I kind of allowed it. So I can't really, you know, nah, say what it is, right? How people have played me, um, how people have, you know, um, just kind of took the, the kindness for weakness, um, took your goodness and your good heartedness for granted. And, you know, you I don't want to I don't want to move away from that completely. Right. Because I feel like God gave me that heart. So I don't want to move away from that completely. But I do want more folks to know that I'm not her. No more. I'm not her no more. So all of that slick, undermining, backhanded BS that you was doing, those days is over. Okay? Those days is over. As well as, um, you know, tolerating people. Right? Tolerating you with your nonsense. Tolerating you... Um, just acting any old kind of way when it comes to me, right? Um, those days is over. So I'm sharing this because I know that there's some folks out there that's like, they don't kind of flip the switch. You know what I'm saying? They don't flip the switch like me. And now it's like, I'm not having it no more. I'm not having none of it anymore, period. So I think that um, this was like a rant more than it was a message and I guess it was for me might be for you but that's definitely for me because uh just this morning I woke up feeling like in a funky kind of way because I try to be compassionate um for people and how they feel 
and how they think and how they move. I try to be compassionate with them. However, people try to treat my stuff like it's irrelevant. Um, and I'm not talking about my messages or my posts or my videos or none of that stuff. Because, you know, my thing is, I'm going to do what I do. That's one thing that I was born with, and that was confidence. And whether you like it or you don't like it, you don't have to. Because there, there's people out there watching my videos and just won't like. Just like there's people that see my posts and won't like on them. Won't make a comment on them. You don't have to. You don't have to. And to me, I, I, that's another place of change as well, too, because I should like on people's comments all the time. I should like on people's posts all the time, whatever it was, whatever you post, not whatever you post, but primarily. I mean, if, if, I, if you were celebrating, I'm celebrating with you. If it was something funny, I'm laughing with you. If it was something, you know, that was serious, that was about wisdom or knowledge, I'm, I'm right there with you. I'm commenting on you. I'm supporting you 1000%, right? But what I have come to find is you don't like all my stuff. I ain't like it on yours either. And then you might call that petty. You might call that petty. But this is the thing. If all the folks that like on your stuff that you don't like on their stuff when they post, if they all stop liking on your stuff, you're going to feel like all your stuff is trash. You're going to feel like, damn, excuse me. And I'm not erasing this. You're going to feel like ain't nobody liking all my stuff. So guess what? When you scrolling through your feed and people's stuff is in there that like on your stuff on a reg, then you might want to click like every now and then and show some love. That's just me. I'm just saying. As I said, this might be a rant, not a message, but it is what it is. So that's one example. But that's just in general, right? Because I ain't never been... You know, that chick, right? I've always been that person that, as I said, compassionate. You know, that person that, you know, mindful, sensitive, you know, of your feelings. Even though I give it real and I give it in truth. But I always assess kind of who I'm communicating with and how my delivery is. I try. Um, I may be straightforward, but I'm not disrespectful. I may be straightforward, but I'm not condescending. I might be straightforward, but I am not uh, insensitive to your emotions or feelings or, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, when I say I'm not that chick, it's like, I'm not that chick that's like, I don't care how you feel. I don't care what you think. I don't care. You know, I'm not her. But that's the line that I'm talking about right now. I'm walking kind of on that line right now where that is kind of the attitude that I have right now. And I'm balancing it because if I go over to the other side, for those of you that may have read my book, Overcoming the Hand You Were Dealt, you know that there are lots of experiences, lots of things that um, that I had to overcome over the years. And if I lived out the impact of what some of those things um, had on me or could have had on me, I would unquestionably be that chick. And it wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be good. I know it wouldn't be good. And I just thank God that that has not been the case. But there is something that is happening right now. That there is a shift that's happening. A transformation that's happening um, along the way. Because over, you know, life, right? You always, um, you take in and you take on every event, every situation, you, you take it in, you take it on. However, you filter it through a certain filter, right? Which that filter has always been, you know, you know, how would God see this? It has always been filtered through how, um, would I feel or how have I felt when that has happened to me? Um, or when someone treated me like that, it's always been fil filtered through that. So that allows me, that allowed me to continue to have a, a caring heart, um, a heart of humility, um, but always not wanting to be like, like, I feel like I'm cute, right? You probably feel like I'm cute too, watching me, right? Um, but I never used to like to post pictures of myself. I never would like to be, you know, I'm always simple, basic, right? 
never wanted to be like that too cute right why because you want to be received from the position of your heart not because you are flashy because you are you know grand and whatever not because of that i've never wanted to be received because of that so i've always been pretty simple plain and you know and i and i feel comfortable with that actually however i noticed that over over years though you you also try your try not to be cute i try my best not to be cute meaning um not to present myself as yeah i'm cute but i am cute and there shouldn't be no problem with being cute and you shouldn't have a problem with being cute either right that's one two um saying things okay i maybe i'll I'll put it another way not uh look i can't even get it out not um shoot (laughs) um if i say um one more time i'm gonna punch myself in the face um Not caring what another person's reaction is going to be to your truth. That's another one. Not caring what a person's reaction is going to be to your truth. I have made um, my way into places that no one thought that I would make it into. I did that with humility. I did that with strength. And people treat you sometimes like you got lucky to get there. They treat you like you think you all that because you're there without knowing how you got there. And they talk and they gossip and they undermine your journey and they look in admiration in secret they observe in admiration and won't even give a compliment they listen and receive and get benefit from your life and they don't say thank you so i know that i'm ranting as i said But I'm also talking to people out there who are making that same shift as well. And that I'm here to tell you that it's okay to make that shift. That it is freeing, but it's also dangerous at the same time. So be mindful not to go all the way to the other side and end up with a cold and callous heart. And then in turn end up being this person that you don't even like right be the person that you respect and that you honor while also standing in the position of making sure that others respect and honor you as well fair enough yes so i don't want anyone to be on the extreme with it because anything to the extreme is error but i share this as i share my life always right I share from a position of authenticity and truth. Sometimes you like my messages. Sometimes you don't like my messages. Whatever. I still make them. Okay. Because there's somebody. If there's one person listening. That gets a benefit out of what I share. Or can relate to my journey or my walk. um, Especially if you have read my book. And you know my journey. if If that is the case. And you get some kind of benefit. And some kind of wholeness from what it is that I share then so be it if i put myself out there and i'm vulnerable so be it right um why because authenticity is authenticity you can't talk about my authenticity right you can only talk about who i am that i can't deny who i am right all i can do is say if i offended you i'm sorry but i am who i am right because what you see is what you get with me so therefore you can talk or you can respond or react or gossip or whatever it is that you want to do it does not matter why because I'm I'm being me I'm being me so what you see on video is exactly what you see in person when you get me so anyway I'm finished ranting I just had a full day today out and about I had the best hot shower I went straight to the spa after stopping at the post office and waiting in line for like eternity but sidebar 
I went to the spa and of course it's always a wonderful thing to sit in that massage chair I mean when I say the spa I mean the nail spa you know I went to get my nails done oh they did better with my eyebrows y'all they did better with my eyebrows um but anyway I got my nails done I got a pedicure got my eyebrows done as I said and just sitting in that chair and just having them massage your legs and your feet and uh it was wonderful it was wonderful and then I left there and I went to um, Bed Bath & Beyond. And then I went to the Ale House. And then I went to New York Pizza. Acting like a true single chick right there, right? What I got a taste for, I'm going to get everything that I got a taste for. And I'm going to treat and pamper myself too because I love me. And nobody can love me better than me. So anyway, as I'm sitting in my car, I was waiting to go and get my pizza right because they make it fresh and it's just like new york for real right so i drive all the way out here a distance away from home to get to this pizza shop so that i can get this pizza because it reminds me of home so nobody makes it like new york pizza in this particular location there's new york pizzas all over town but this new york pizza is the spot that's like new york so anyway I just was sharing, as I said, what was on my heart, what I was thinking about for today. And um, it's been a fantastic day. The weather has been nice today as well, too. And I think tomorrow is probably going to be raining. So she won't be out in the rain. So I did all my running today. And um, I'm going to get my pizza and head it on in. So if you have not done so already, please subscribe to this channel. Please like on this video. And leave a comment and visit mentalshiftmastery.com and grab a copy of my book, Overcoming the Hand You Were Dealt. And until next time, I will speak to you on Let's Talk. Let's talk.